So first off, we have my summer school uniform, which is a simple short sleeve white sailor collared shirt with a long navy skirt. And I wore this uniform when I first started school in Japan around the end of August until the first week of October. And the schools around the areas also had very similar uniforms, which has very minor details changed. For example, my school has two lines around the collar and other schools would have three lines around the collar. Taking a closer look at the top, I usually wore a plain white tank top underneath so it would be easier to change it to my gym uniform. And on the pocket on the right side, it has my school symbol which symbolizes what school I attended and unfortunately, I do not know what it says or what it stands for. For the skirt, we had two different skirts, one for summer slash autumn and one for the winter. The difference between the summer one was that the fabric was a lot thinner than the winter one which really made a difference because the temperature in the summer did get very high. And because the length of our skirts were just slightly below the knee, girls typically rolled up their skirts once or twice to look a little cuter and I usually only rolled it up once because if I rolled it up two times, I wouldn't be able to use my pocket anymore. But girls never rolled it up three times because that would be too obvious. And taking a closer look at the skirt, you'll notice that this fabric is thin and it's a little see-through as you can see. And with the summer uniform skirt, you were required to wear white ankle socks to pair with your sandals. Next, we have my autumn slash fall uniform. And this one was super fun and cute to wear because it was so different and looked pretty sophisticated. And I wore this starting um, the first week of October bar wore for like a week or two and then it got cold so I switched to my winter one. And for this, we wore a thin white button-up shirt with a navy vest on top paired with a navy skirt. And I had two button-up tops with two different colored symbols, yellow and blue, but I always wore the yellow one because it fit me a lot better. This uniform did give me that slight flight attendant vibes, but it was very comfortable because the vest was very snug on me. And I believe you were allowed to wear the summer or winter skirt with this, and I wore the winter and summer uniform skirts on and off. Some days this uniform would be very handy when the weather was cooler, but other days it was just way too hot and I would melt. I don't think it was allowed to roll up your sleeves, but everyone did it anyways and plus it made you look a lot cooler. So I rolled up my sleeves most days because even in October it was still fairly warm out and I would sweat a lot if my sleeves were down. Of course, when we had our uniform checks, we would unroll our skirts and our sleeves so we wouldn't get in trouble. And also, with this uniform, you would still have to wear the same white ankle socks with your sandals. And excuse me and my very messy bob haircut because I had no straightener so my blower dryer was my best friend. So next, we have my favorite uniform out of the main three which is the winter uniform. And here you can see me trying to tie my scarf or my ribbon. And you didn't have to have this little triangle peeking out, but sometimes I just wore it like that to keep it looking more proper. So actually tying the ribbon was a lot harder than I thought it would be because it wasn't just like um, tying your shoelaces. If you wanted it to have the nice square in the middle, you'd have to fold it and um, tie it a certain way that I personally could not do very well but my host mom was very good at tying the bow so most mornings she would tie it for me and after that when I took my uniform off I would not touch my ribbon at all as you can see right there um, that was like the most decent bow I could do not very good So for this uniform, we had different school symbols. As you can see, we have one on the pocket and one on the sleeve. And the one on the sleeve, to me, I recognize it more because I do see that symbol around the gym. And for this one, I'm not too sure what it means, but it was required when we had our uniform checks. And in my pocket, I always kept my chapstick and my small compact mirror that I wanted the Gacha Gacha, and it is Sailor Moon theme. It's super cute and these and keeping it in my pocket was very convenient and here's just a um, full body shot of what my uniform looked like without the card again you'll see the card again in a few minutes but it's just very simple and super cute i feel like one reason why i like this uniform so much was because it really reminded me of the uniforms that i see in the animes 
And in the pocket of my skirt, I always try to keep a small towel around because in my school, I don't know if it's the same around other schools, but we didn't have any napkins or like hand dryers to dry our hands. So towelettes were very, very convenient. And for my skirt, I'm just showing that it's a lot thicker than the summer one. And with this, if I'm not wearing black tights, I would need to wear white socks. And this is my school cardigan and I wore this cardigan daily because it did get cold in the winter sometimes. And because we weren't allowed to wear jackets to school, I always wore my yellow scarf which was really the only thing that kept me warm while I walked to school. And so that meant that I always had to layer up so I did layer up with my cardigan, I have a long sleeve under and we did have our tights that we were allowed to wear. So like I said about layering, I always wore a black long sleeve underneath. It didn't really matter just as long as you were able to see it from the outside. And here I'm wearing my tights. And some days I, if it was extremely cold, I would wear black thigh highs underneath my tights and then wear my tights over and then wear my ankle socks over. And you had to wear black ankle socks if you were wearing the black tights. Otherwise, you would just wear white socks, no tights at all. So next we have the gym uniform and for the gym uniform there were three different colors they had blue for the first years, green for the second years which was the year I was in and then red for the third years. Also your name would be located on the right side of your shirt and this helps with knowing which shirt belongs with which person and the one I have on now it does not say my name I had this as a hand-me-down or a donation so that does mean that all the uniforms I show in this video are not mine and I did not get to keep. Here I'm just showing that I like to wear a tank top underneath and that I do not like to tuck my shirt in and unfortunately we did not have pockets on the side of the pants. For the gym sweater, you could wear it any season you'd like but I usually wore the sweater when it was a lot colder because if we were playing a lot of activities, a lot of sports in gym class and if I got too warm, I could always just take my sweater off and wear the shirt I had on underneath. Unfortunately for us girls that wore the black tights, you were not allowed to wear black socks with the gym uniform and you were only allowed to wear the white socks. Some girls just wore their long pants over their tights and it kind of did cover up the black socks but eventually the teachers called us on that. Some girls would actually take off their black socks only and put the white ones over their tights but some girls actually took off their tights and wore the white socks properly. Here I'm just showing you how I put my uniform away at the end of the day so it would be ready for the next day. And I start off by folding my skirt in half and then folding it over the coat hanger. Next I'll take my top and then put it over the hanger. And then finally I'll cover the whole uniform with my cardigan. Also I try to keep my ribbon as perfect as I can because like you previously saw I cannot tie a ribbon. So I try to keep it as nice as I could so the next day I wouldn't have to tie my ribbon. Also, I do have different shoes that I have to wear accordingly, but because they were at school, I didn't want to go through the hassle of bringing them home and then bringing them all the way back the next day. But thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.